Hey guys, welcome back to Monoview. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to reset your NVR password in the scenario that you've lost or forgotten it. So typically in my experience, what I see the most is that our customers become complacent with entering the dotted pattern over and over again. Over the months, eventually, after adding that pattern every time, they forget what their password is because they don't really have to use it on a daily basis. But the important things that you will need your password for are typically adding it to a new phone, adding it to a computer, or making advanced adjustments within the system parameters. For all of this, you do need your password. And typically this is when people realize they don't know it is when they're trying to add it to a new system. So by the end of this video, we will reset your guys' password. And obviously this is a security system. So naturally it is difficult to get into. So we recommend once you guys have your new password, tattoo it on your body, write it down somewhere. Just make sure you don't lose it again because there are some complications that come along with resetting your password. And as you'll find out through this video, it can be annoying to say the least. So let's just get into it. We'll show you guys how to reset your password and hopefully everything goes smooth. So first things first, when we see the NVR, we're going to try to log in. Now, if you guys do know your pattern, obviously we know the pattern, we can get into the NVR, but we don't wanna do that. So we're going to go down to forgot pattern in the lower left portion. And then once it brings us to the password screen, here, you can try to enter a password if you think you know it. Keep in mind that you'll have five attempts total in order to enter the password. After the fifth attempt, the NVR will lock itself. And then there's a little trick here. You basically just have to turn off the NVR and then turn it back on and you'll get five more attempts. If you think you might be able to solve your situation this way, I recommend at least trying to take a few guesses at your password. There's no harm in locking your system since you can just restart it. So one little trick I do wanna go over before we get into password resetting is not only can you guys use the uh, five guesses on your NVR and then turn off your NVR, turn it back on and you'll get five more guesses. But if you have your NVR added to any device like a cell phone or a tablet, there's actually a little bit of a secret way you can find your password. So in order to do that, what you guys wanna do is Go to Montevideo Go on whatever phone you have it added to, open up the home page, and then you'll see your NVR listed down below. You wanna press these three gray dots on the right side here, and then you're gonna choose device details. So once we're in device details, you're gonna look up top for device configuration, and then press that. And then it's gonna give us a bunch of information about your NVR. And you'll notice that your password should be down below and it's gonna show up as some black dots. So here's the, where the trick comes in. So if you press those black dots and you actually go to where you wanna edit the password, you'll see that a little eyeball symbol pops up to the right side. Now, if you press that eyeball symbol, it will show you what your password is. And hopefully that password is the current up-to-date one for your NVR, and now you can access it. So a little tip or trick to avoid having to switch over your password, if you have it added to any devices, that would be how you can cheat the system and get your password back. Other than that, if you guys don't have that available, then continue watching the rest of this video and I'm gonna show you how to change your password. Then the next step here is to click on the little question mark to the right of the password box. Once we do this, it's just gonna give us a big paragraph about uh, switching Mac addresses and stuff like that. Just ignore it, just hit okay. And then it's going to open up this big screen with a QR code and a couple different bits of information here. So what we're seeing here is on the upper portion up to the left, this is the method of recovery. Now, typically you're gonna have two options. You're going to have email. And when you first initialize the NVR, it would have asked for an email or a list of security questions. So if you guys did fill out the security questions, you can answer those to recover your password. Or if you're like me, you just entered your email and we're gonna recover it that way. So I'm gonna choose email and then it, if you look on the bottom here, it will have it asterisked out for the most part, but it will tell you pretty much what email that it's going to be sending the password to. So as long as this email vaguely looks familiar and you guys have access to it, then we're probably not gonna have any issues. So the next step is we need to scan this QR code in order to send the security code 
to our email. And in order to do that, we're actually going to need the Montevideo Go application for mobile or tablet. So once you download Montevideo Go or just open it up on your phone, we're going to get to the main screen and we want to go over to the setting option. Now I'm on an Android, so it does say setting for me. However, if you are on an iPhone, it's going to say me at the bottom right corner. So make this selection. And then on this screen, we want to select password security. Once we're in password security, we want to hit reset device password. And then you'll notice that it is going to change our forward facing camera into a QR code reader. Now the last step here is just to scan the QR code on the screen. So once you actually successfully scan the QR code, you'll see this little message down here that says, successfully sent password security code, something like that. Okay, so now what we want to do is go to that email and open up your inbox. And then you should see this email here from GPW. It's got kind of a weird name, but that's going to have your security code. So open up that email. And what we're looking for is these blue letters. Now you don't want the one in parentheses because that's actually your serial number. We want the one that's outside of that right here. So once we have these numbers recognized, we're going to go over to the NVR and in the security code box, we're going to type in those letters and numbers exactly as they appear. So make sure if it's lowercase, lowercase, if it's capital, make it capital. So as you'll notice, once I got that in here, I'm going to hit enter and it's going to successfully enter this and it's going to ask me to create a new password. Keep in mind that there are some password restrictions. It needs to be at least eight digits long. It needs at least one number and one symbol and one letter. So I'm just gonna make my password anything. And then I'm gonna confirm my password by typing it in a second time. And then I'm gonna hit okay. So here's the most important thing. Your cameras, they have the original password for the NVR. Now, this is really important that you guys understand this because once you change your NVR password and if your cameras have the original password, they will no longer be able to communicate with your NVR and you'll get this message where it says invalid username or password. At that point, you have to reset each individual camera uh, by doing a factory reset, which is a huge pain in the butt for most people, especially if your camera is 30 feet in the air. So this is where this next step comes in and it's very important. It is going to ask you to sync remote devices with this NVR. It's important that we say yes, because what that's asking is, do you want this new password to be sent over to any camera that's attached to this NVR? Of course we want yes. So if you'll do that, you'll notice that it'll be successful. Um, nine times out of 10, it's going to get all your cameras. However, there's always the chance that it may not be able to convert all your cameras. Sometimes this is for unknown reasons, just little glitches in the software. But in the case that it's not able to successfully transfer over a camera, that camera you will have to factory reset. Okay, so once you guys have successfully switched over your password and you've converted your cameras to the new password, you should be good to go. Um, keep in mind that if any cameras were not able to switch over and they're saying invalid username or password, you guys will have to do a factory reset on that specific camera. And if you're unfamiliar with how that works, check out our camera reset YouTube video. Uh, it pretty much goes over how to do that exactly. And that will pretty much reset the camera and force it to absorb the new password from your NVR. And then everything's gonna be perfect. Um, also keep in mind that because we have just changed your password on your NVR, any devices that you have it added to, such as Montevideo Go for a mobile phone or a tablet or Montevideo Go for PC, you're gonna have to go into those devices and switch the password over for your NVR because it's still going to be using the old one. And yeah. All right, guys, I hope I covered everything okay. And I hope you guys were able to change over your passwords uh, without any sort of limitations or obstacles. If you guys have any issues switching over your passwords or if you guys have just completely screwed up the system, give our tech support a call. We can help you guys out of any kind of jam that you guys find yourselves in. Of course, we are here Monday through Friday. No problem is too small for us. So just let us know if you guys have any issues, okay? 
As always, thank you for joining Montevue, and you guys have a good rest of your day.